<laughs> Tell him, man, you're you, you in the swag, baby. You do what you want to do. You're the swag. I'm good. I can go. I always wait for the cameras to make sure yeah, they're ready to go. They're all good. Okay. Ron, just um, as far as having another quarterback, what's it sort of been like this week without James first game? Uh, I mean, I would say the transition has been uh, pretty pretty smooth, you know, all things considered. Uh, that's a testament to Trevor. He's been uh, he's been working his butt off with terminology and everything, and then we already know Taysom. So the way that, that he speaks and and uh, the time we've had on, on task with him, uh, it's been it's been pretty smooth. You know, we didn't have to have like a new guy coming to the building. Those two guys working in that spot has been uh, pretty smooth. What was Trevor like on Sunday man, when he first you know, got thrown into the fire? Like, how do he handle the huddle? And all composed. I would say well, that that probably was the that's probably the key word, composed. Uh, and, and fearless too, you know, he's coming in cold and in such a big game, you know, high intensity game, and he just executed. You know, he uh, he never he never was was wavered emotionally. Uh, he just, he always was just locked in and, and showed extreme composure. Yeah. Tori, you got the scene and experience so much. Do you just kind of get calloused to to this kind of thing? Somebody gets hurt, and it's like, all right, let's go. I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that, man. It it, it, it takes a toll takes a toll you know you, especially you see somebody like Jameis go down uh in a situation like that and a guy that you you want nothing but the best for and uh you know to, to have a, a a tough a tough play like that or a rough injury uh man it takes a toll and only thing you want to do is go out there and win for him you know so uh, we just rallied around him and uh you know he he stayed stayed with us stayed engaged and to the game as much as he can so well it's great to be able to pull that win off for him Tron, did you know right away that it was Probably pretty bad. Uh, his his reaction, his reaction on the field. Uh, you know, I could tell he was in some, you know, some real pain. Uh, no idea what the actual injury was. Uh, and yeah, it's just extremely unfortunate. What did that mean to you that you went into the tent, Alvin went into the tent, some other guys went into the tent, and you were the one that put him on the cart? Uh, I mean, we we anybody will do that for for anybody on this team. It's just that's how we are, really. You know, we we, we bring that family orientation around. Uh, you know, you really play for each other, care about each other. So uh, I just I had to go check on my brother, you know, and and just so happened I was the, the one right there to put him on the put him on the car. What uh, what does it say maybe about the culture you have created here? You know, a lot of teams would lose their quarterback, and then Mike this week not coming back. Yeah. And even if they didn't admit it, there may be kind of a sense of uncertainty or panic but there yeah. doesn't seem to be that here uh man we we've we've been battle tested we've been we've been we've been tested time and time again through adversity through change adjustment uh man it's you know we represent this city and it's a lot like the city uh things that we can't control we got to just pick ourselves up and keep going so that's the that's the makeup of, of this team that's the mentality of this organization uh you know since i've been here and even before me um you know what, 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 what else can we do we got to go out there and put our best foot forward on Sunday. Back to Mike. Um, more bad news and that he's not coming back this season. How disappointing was that to hear for y'all? Uh, I mean, disappointing for him, you know. I know a, a guy like Mike, this is this is his life, you know. Uh, he's he's locked in every day. He he wakes up 5, 6 in the morning. He's pre-rehabbing before he comes to rehab. Uh, you know, so a guy like a guy like Mike T, uh, best receiver in the NFL. So you, you, you missing, we're missing a huge piece. You know that a lot of people take for granted because they haven't seen him in a while. But it's, it's Michael Thomas, you know. So uh, it's tough. It's tough missing him. Um, you know, just definitely, like I say, feel for him not being able to play. I know what that's like sitting out, sitting away from from what you love to do. Now, what's this? Um, you've been in league for eight years. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that year away from me. <laughs> <laughs> what's the um, just a Falcon rivalry? What's it kind of like? Them like just to be a part of a part of it. Uh, I mean, a lot of history, a lot of history, a lot of, a lot of great games, uh, and not so much back and forth, in my opinion. I feel like we've been, you know, on top uh, throughout my career, but uh, it's always it's always a great a great week leading up. The fans get into it. Uh, just a great week of NFL football. You got like one memory from the Falcons game that stands out, like a play or anything in particular that uh, you think about things past? Drew, that, that Drew run uh, when he hit the spin on two, you know. There's a little, you know, Drew Vick. That was that was that was special. This is the first time we've talked to you since uh, Mark Ingram came back. Yeah. Uh, what was your reaction to that news, and how happy are you that he's back here? Extremely excited. You know, that's my dog for sure. That's that's a lifer right there. 
Uh, so extremely excited. Not even just personally though, but what he brings to the field, the energy he brings to the locker room, the energy he brings to the field, experience, uh, and then his ability. You know, you, you got a chance to see Sunday, small sample size of, of what he does on the field. He's always moving forward, falling forward. He's only 63 or so yards away from breaking Deuce's, re or Deuce's record. How cool would that be? It's only right. It's only right. You know, stars align. He's back. He's going to be the all-time leading rusher in Saints history. It's just, so that's a great thing. Ron, you expect the crowd to be pretty loud this week? What? I'll be. I don't expect nothing less. <laughs> there were. Listen, the crowd was crazy Sunday against Tampa. Uh, amazing, extremely. It was. It was. It was electric in that place. Just how I remember. It. And we need it back even even more this weekend. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. 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 Thank you.